Because I don't know if my Voice of Truth will be very useful in this matchup. Your Voice of Truth? Mm. Oh. Uh, probably not now. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay. <clears throat> I have a super interesting hand. Um, so, oh. uh, yeah, so tempo into uh, the slower uh, type of sort of uh, almost like a greed list. Um, he's going to uh, be able to apply a lot of pressure, and especially with cards like Shade and Demon, with a really efficient 5 attack damage, uh, that poses a lot of pressure. Uh, a lot of early pressure on my, um, uh, uh, well, I guess 5 HP stats. Um, I could have played the campfire here to play around Stalker. Mm. But I chose not to. Why is that? Because I think it's more useful on the demon follow up with the Shaden Demon next turn. Um, I potentially value trade your Stalker, and then I keep the campfire intact so that I can uh, threaten something like a Wolf Guardian, for example. Uh, right, you do need the 6 power to make that up. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, so we can just keep playing it a little bit slow. We'll go for this, but we'll go for the boar on this side. Um, cards I need to be concerned about here are, like, training. And then he's also got that campfire in hand. Uh, it's good knowledge for me. I know there's always a, a campfire in hand to play around. Um, but campfire plus training. That's five damage, so I gotta be careful about moving this boar up in the future. Demon to the sides. Well, now I know there's training. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, yeah, the demon in the center is, like, pretty obvious of training. There might even be double training, but this makes me almost not want to step up <laughs> because this is just a free it's, trade it's for a good our read, opponent. Yeah. Um, um. So one thing I could do... There could be training plus mobility on this left side here. Um, he gets to collect and then um, just take a whack on my Willow. I, I could take a step up on this side just to block that uh, collection from him. Uh, that is one option. Of course, this forest investment means I, I lose my forest investments on this right side. Um, so I have to kind of think about which side he's going to uh, mount his attack on. Um, and yeah, I think that this is a little bit greedy, going for this uh, land on left side. Um, since he's already got this land investment here, of course there is the potential for him to training Flashwind over and do stuff, but he can't develop land on this side, uh, so I think I'd much prefer um, establishing my lands where his investment has gone. Um... Of course, the question just is where I want to put them. I don't think I want to step this boar up, so I actually might build this land here uh, just to play around like Wind Soldier uh, uh, plus Soul Drain. Uh, I am on five forests next turn, which is pretty cool. And uh, I win this matchup essentially by defending for a little bit and just getting to my late game pieces and outvaluing him there. Um, of course, there is Colossus in the future. That one's going to be tough to outvalue. Um, but at least I outvalue a lot of his early game pieces. So there's the training. Oh, I forgot there was... How did I forget there was Campfire? I literally said I should play around that. But um, yeah, I should have stepped back the Willow. I don't know why I didn't step the Willow back. Um, uh, but yeah, so... Uh, the training, pretty obvious. He would have gotten a free clear on my boar. Doesn't actually have the, the flash wind, so our willow is safe for one more turn. Yeah. If you have feet here, yeah, that's really good for you. Um, but yeah, I would have liked a flash wind here, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and now that he's invested this, actually, um, that is a training down which I can potentially feel more comfortable stepping this Ancient Boar up. Um, 
Which I think I am. Especially since I get to follow up with another creature. Um, so we will just go for the collection here. We'll go for the feeds. Oh. Um, one option I have also is to just slap a taunt here. So I can't actually get training uh, hit. <clears throat> um, and I need something to defend against this, which I'm going to assume has 5 HP because of that campfire. So I'm going to always assume this is a 7-5 and assume this is a 4-3, uh, which can be yes. boosted further with like trainings. Um, which is one reason that Outland Ranger is such... Um, I mean, it's fallen a little bit out of favor, but it's still a really solid, strong card. Um, and it's only fallen out of favor because there is like alternatives in DLC cards. Um, but no DLC, this card is fantastic. And that's because of that threat potential with that campfire. Like, I have to play around a 7-5 uh, a and a 4-3, which is like that campfire is doing more than just a 1-1 one, one buff. Uh, anyways. Uh, our only thing we can threaten the stats of is this Tyrion Golem. So I guess we'll drop the Tyrion Golem here. Because um, the Ancient Boar is for attack to his 5 HP that's going to be there. Um, the next option is... I guess we could potentially just go for this and see what else we drop. I should have done that first, though. Is that worth it? I was debating the taunt, but this is so weak to the Shaden Demon being on board. I think we're just going to feed this as well. Um, if we top deck Beastmaster, I'm a little bit sad. Uh, we don't, so that's not bad. Um... I guess we can drop this, it's fine. Uh, yeah, now dropping this creature is a little bit awkward, because again, I don't want to play in range of this, especially with Mobility Trick. We know we didn't have it last turn, but um, I, I can still play around the top deck, because I'm not really desperate for uh, stuff to survive on board here, right? Um, so I can just play a, this as a collector. If he finds mobility, he can also flash one this way and get a value trade, which is annoying. Uh, okay, we'll just drop this and pass. We'll see what he's investing in next turn. So as long as we're maintaining these uh, collections on both sides, um, I'm feeling pretty happy about that. Uh, now I just want to go for... Lots of card draw and try to outvalue him um, before he gets his late game pieces, which are those Colossi. I have a difficult task here. I need to close this game out right now. <laughs> you do, yeah. <laughs> uh, if, if he doesn't, then yeah, I'm, I'm going to scale and scale and scale in all of my late game potential with feeds and Tyrion golems. And hopefully Beastmaster. Uh, uh, you'll also notice the land structure that we've established here is kind of similar to the con um, uh, that last those last matchups we had, uh, where we're defending that land investment. Um, we're being very careful about our five lands that we have to build because we don't want to go above that land count. Okay. Um I will take the temple line now. <laughs> All right. So, um, um, temple essentially means, um, oh, doing to... unfavorable trades that benefit me in the long, um, it give me short term benefits, right? Hmm. Yeah, Nightmare is pretty fantastic there. <clears throat> um, and honestly, Aridin is not the card I would have hoped to top deck in this sort of matchup. Uh, this card is in, requires time to build up the value and these guys. Uh, tempo does not allow you to uh, build up that value, potentially. Um, still, still possible. 
Um, like even something like Grove Guardian here is still very devastating uh, with plus one plus one stats. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I should clear the boar or if I should clear the Aridon. Uh, yeah, that's a good question because the boar requires a campfire investment. Um, on the other hand, if you do invest that campfire um, to kill the boar, my 3-3 three is uh, kind of not able to trade into anything immediately. And my Grove Guardians are still 6 HP. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm dashing the Coloss this turn, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I guess so you don't really care about Grove Guardian anyways. Um, yeah, like, that's the Faria biggest Faria doesn't one. really matter. Yeah, I'm on 12. I can pretty much play anything. Um, yeah, the biggest attack stat you have to worry about is 6, right? Yeah, I think I go for this line. I think that's pretty good. I could have body blocked with the Garrett uh, with the uh, Aridin, right? <clears throat> the Garrettin. <laughs> uh, we probably are using this, right? Uh, eight, twelve. So we'll take a draw. Might have been priced into pre campfiring the uh, demon here just because it's a discount on the Coloss, right? Because I'm thinking Grove Guardian mm. and what? Well, I actually get to teleport here if I want, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, then I sure should have uh, pre campfired. <laughs> mm. Uh, teleport blows me out, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to shut down a lot of stuff. I even get... Yeah, this is a pretty big turn. Uh, we come here. Unfortunately, my Grove Guardian does not fight these stats super well. But... What can you do? Damn. <laughs> Small mistakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that campfire would have saved you, huh? Yeah. God, this doesn't even feel that good. I think I actually might just dump my hand. Even though this doesn't do much. <laughs> um... Like, this is not going to get value anyways. I need to find one damage efficiently. I mean, that's... <laughs> I guess this is not a very efficient one damage source. Uh, there was another option, I guess, to just let him hit me? No, not really. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's actually kind of awkward, but I guess we just have to do it anyways. Uh, I would hope to top deck command or something, but... This is so expensive. Grove Call is a one of, right? It is a one of in my list, yeah. I don't know, we're just gonna dump this because I need the the stats on board, I guess. Seven seven's really awkward. But we'll Oh spend... you could have I, I guess it doesn't matter now. Never mind. Um Yeah there was yeah the boar traded with the uh Demon either way. Yeah, he can really get away with this land placement too because I'm kind of desperate for card draws here unless I get a really good top deck. Um, I guess I could just go for it anyways. Oh, that's actually... not bad as a source of killing this Colossus. <laughs> I mean, I could block his collections now. Uh, 
especially with that Kaleem wanting to come this way. We get to threaten. We do have to find uh, more damage to kill this, but... I think the land investment's fine, since this is what I'm doing. We drop the Willow to fight stats. And... Then Borgo, where? Um, I can take this... I mean, I guess I just take this land investment either way. So he's probably going to fly over and take this. Um, he, I mean, he can play in range because uh, because I'm playing Beastmaster, he doesn't really have to play around much in terms of buffs. Um, even a single buff doesn't kill this anyways. Um, and then he can also go for like Soul Drain things. Um, can also clear my left side to stop collections. I guess we can... I guess we can step like this. Uh, we do open this desert again, but that's fine. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I do have the stats on board to deal with another Colossus. Um, Alright, picked up we... a Shell King. Oh, gross. That's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, choking I wasn't even playing around. I didn't think you'd have that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> wow. All right, well, that's um, pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll take pretty good. Don't step oh. over the left side. Great top deck. Uh, that's... So now I gotta be concerned about mobility trick to my face. Uh, he did have the option to do that last uh, turn as well, but I think I'm fine with the face hit rather than him going for collect, collect, and face hit now, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, we could invest this potentially, but it, it's not that great. This one, so we can get wind soldier tier. Uh. It's a little bit awkward. I mean, if we get hit in the face for three, it's not the end of the world, right? Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go for the collection then. We will then. I got to be a little bit concerned with my face because I I don't really want to be stepping this three two up super aggressive. Um, I might actually shimmy these guys a bit, like this, because eh, this actually plays around like a wind soldier taking this for, I, I don't think he'd ever do that, but it does something, um, takes away the soul drain potential, so I'm still always threatening this desert. Uh, this play is really bad into Colossus, though. I guess I didn't think about that. Which I don't have. Well, that's Sadly. good for me. <laughs> um, yeah, that is I good for should you. have played around that, though. Um, I could have played around it simply by stepping in the 2 6 to prevent the dash. Oh, these lines are so hard to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy. I think I'm taking a bit of a conservative approach here. Oh, invest the buff too, so I can take a pre-hit. Okay. Now you need Stalker plus Beastmaster. Which maybe you have it. I do it's not. getting more likely. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 
it is getting more likely, that's for sure. Um, I mean, this is an option to play this. Generally, it's not great to play this. Because uh, I'm already investing this. I mean, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Seven. I guess we can try to roll for it. Sure. <laughs> oh, rewarded. <laughs> rewarded? Yeah, well, what? kind of. I mean, it's a playable card. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'll say that much. Rewarded, yeah. Sure. Um... I'll just shimmy these guys around. Do I want to fight this Manta Rider? I want to play around mobility and protecting my voice of truth, I guess. So we'll do something like this. Uh, then we will... Play this. And then... Uh, I guess we can... Now block the line there. That's a pretty good block, yeah. Mm hmm. Now I have to reevaluate again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, had to be Iona. Yeah. Um. Not terrible. Not terrible. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Now I've used double feeds, so unfortunately my Oakling's gonna be hard to trade off. I mean, you kind of just want to trade with it anyhow, like non yeah, but regular like, trades. Yeah, I have to have stuff in range of it though, right? Um, which I guess, if I just keep it at face, is likely to happen at some point, but it's really slow value. Like, I have to wait for you to yeah. potentially hit my face before trading. I can choose to play into Stalker. Or I can choose to avoid Stalker. Which you're being awfully quiet, maybe you have a Stalker in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Only got one card. Only got one card? Yeah. It could be anything. Could be anything. Could be Stalker. Could be a second Iona. You never know. <laughs> you will step next turn, which makes me want to take this trade now. Sort of bite the bullet. Okay. Yep, completely cleans up that side. <clears throat> and steps into double collection. Okay. Uh, so I probably want a plus one to play this guy. Um... Now, I could optionally leave this Kalim alive. Uh, try to take this. Um, it doesn't feel very good, though. I think I can just keep the Manta alive anyways. Because uh, mobility tricks exist as well. Um, so we probably just... I mean, we're probably playing this guy anyways, but we'll take the command on this. Yep. We'll take the Grove Guardian there, block the collection. 
Um, and then we'll... Ugh, again, I gotta think about Colossus dashing here, and I really want the space blocked. Uh, so this is kind of awkward. I want to step this 2 6 up. I actually should have planted the Oakling uh, on E2. Um, I, I, I put it here so that I did I wouldn't get value traded with the Manta, but that, I mean, I want this guy to die, so that doesn't make any sense. Definitely should have been here, and that would have been a better play. I could have stepped the 2 6 back and Oakling up to fight this. Um, but I missed that opportunity now, unfortunately. Uh. Yeah, I, I gotta play around the Colossus here. Of course, Colossus can still dash here, but it's not as bad. Uh, yeah, we do something like that. I mean, it did just give me the value, though. On the 3 If I two. have a Ashwind here, I just take it. Oh, but that's pretty fine for me, is it not? I don't know. Oh, I don't have any cards in hand. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be that fine, no. Okay, that's pretty game losing. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> um. Alright, well, I wanted to keep things spicy and interesting. <laughs> yes, yes. That was All the for the entertainment. Yes. Alright. You're likely not on uh, many commands, though. No, I played two Either commands you're on, already. Either you're on three or you're on two, so there's not a lot of healing coming out from you anytime soon, I would suspect. Mm hmm. Uh. I just play you in range. And I guess to play around Colossus, we'll take the step. Just pass. Keeping card in hand this time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've learned a lesson. <laughs> Mine's pretty tricky, honestly. Mm hmm. Uh, still a lot of stats to whack through, and I still have two Tyrian golems yet to come. But I also have all three of my Beastmasters in the bottom ten cards of my deck, so those are not going to be handy to top deck into. No, no. Oh, okay. Sort of forcing you to take uh, this trade with the Grove if you want it. Um. And then I'm setting up left side if you choose to take this one instead. Uh, I really want this collection. I think we're taking this and just plus wanting here, dropping this. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna do this. Um... So he takes that value trade, which is very annoying, <laughs> but 
We get to take back. Um, and then I likely don't want to take this hit here because if I take the hit, the Manta just trades me. Uh, or he does like Soul Drain, zips away or something and collects. So we'll just stand there with the Grove Guardian taunting. Uh, the Aridin actually paid off really well. Because <laughs> uh, I wouldn't have been able to deal with these Mantas otherwise. Yeah, yeah, it's good for you. Definitely. I think in a different sort of... Uh, um, like if there was a different sort of opening, a different sort of window, um, you could have... It could have really messed me up <laughs> uh, before that Aridin got the value off. Yeah. But it... I still have a decent temple line here, though. Mm. Just trying to figure out if I should draw or if I should plus one. Great to note here also, um, with all this tempo plays, um, like we mentioned, he's going for short-term value in exchange for giving up that long-term value, uh, unlike I have, where I've got, like, Tyrion Golems and stuff. Um, since I'm forced to defend against this in such a way, uh, it also makes me, me lose some of my late-game potential as well, uh, where I'm defending, having to come off of the wells and such. Yeah. <laughs> Fanatic. Did I mess up? We moving the manta away? Taking another value? Oh, I did not move. Okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> Still works. Training. That's brutal. <laughs> That's absolutely brutal. That's not what Green wants to see. This is kind of what Green wants to see, though. You got a big, big boy coming up. <laughs> I do. Unfortunately, I only get to play one thing here. Yeah. Uh, which really hurts. Ugh. This is just awful. <laughs> These 1 HP is... 1 HP menace, yeah. I mean, it's just gotta be this. I don't really have another play. Um, and I I desperately need collections now. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting how you can sort of uh, starve your opponent of collections by applying pressure yourself. Yeah. Already, this big creature is just getting slaughtered by these mantas. I mean, this is what green is weak to, is the <laughs> really efficient uh, flyer bodies, um, which is uh, great to fight the green in the tempo list, apparently. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd love a willow top deck here, but I've already drawn two, I think, so I don't think I can hope for those. <clears throat> we'll probably just go for plus ones just to desperately cling on to Faria. I mean, we can still... We, I'm not, like, uh, in a bad spot, but it's not an ideal spot. <laughs> oh, that's a big one, yeah. It is. <laughs> really sad that he doesn't get very much value, but hey. Um, now, if he finds, uh, I guess he can't find a clear, and, um, well, if there's Flashwind and Colossus in hand, I think I'm just dead here. Right now, I just have Colossus. I don't have Flashwind. Hmm. It's good for me. <laughs> good for you, yeah. <laughs> uh, that would, yeah, that would just lose me the game. Huh. I think now I just have to sort of corner you. Makes sense. Keep me off of those collections. 
and the demon. Alright, we did top deck that. Unfortunately, I still need an extra collection to play everything here. But I, I probably just go for this. Um, can body block with this guy. Uh, this is five, six, seven. So if we do this, 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 then we're still looking okay. Um, I could go for a draw now. My draw options are. I've got one feed to search for, I guess. Uh, there's going to be a lot of Beastmasters coming, which I don't want to be playing. Um, I'm not really looking for a particular top deck. Maybe I just keep plus wanting to stay in this game. Um, so let's take this. Take this. Oh, I'm down to eight cards, too. Huh. Yeah, this has been quite the ride, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly, I think if I keep plus oneing, I'm fine here. I am really low on cards, but uh, pretty much the rest of my deck is just going to be stats. Um, apart from the Beastmasters. The Beastmasters are something I want to draw past, ideally. Wow, I still have three Beastmasters in my bottom eight cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's certainly exciting. Um... <laughs> um, I might want to draw into buffs and healing. That's one thing I could try drawing for. Um, I think in this position, it's I I'm not desperate for it, though. Um... Unless that's a Colossus. <laughs> that is a Colossus, yeah. Mm, okay, well, uh, drawing was maybe something I should have done then. Just to draw into those buffs. I think I stay here, actually. Stop me from stepping on that space, makes sense. Um, yeah, I should have went for a draw, I think, because... Uh, I, I, well, I should have calculated the Faria thresholds. Uh, this is technically an answer, I guess. I could play two things here. Um, that is another option I could go for. Um, yeah, because my answers here are either desperately top deck a buff, which I've got two... Oh, sorry, I don't have buffs. I have commands in this list. Never mind! Okay, there's no buff potential, so this is my only answer then. So I guess we're going for it. Um, I have to play this first because he doesn't get to dash. Ugh. And then if there's a second Colossus... It would be third. Oh, sorry, third is what I meant, yeah. Uh, okay, well, this... Ooh. Now, another option I could go for is accepting the face hit. He has played almost like three trainings at this point, I think. But there's more campfires to come, so 6 HP is still a scary number. Um, especially Double Wind Soldier he has an option for. He's only played one, so 6 HP is yeah. a very scary number. There's like a couple of lines I could take. Um, well, Wind Soldier, like you pointed out, is uh, likely. I also have Outland Ranger left, two copies, and one copy of Demon. Yeah, and it's really scary. I'm, I'm more scared about the haste potential because uh, Demon buff I can deal with, right? Um, but with six cards left, it's pretty likely Double Wind Soldier. I mean, it's actually guaranteed that Double Wind Soldier can be an answer. So I think I have to just... <sighs> Another question to consider is, do I win if I do this? 
if I just dump three Feria to kill this. So I'm debating a stalker play here. Are you debating stalker? Here. Yeah. Debating I mean, stalkering the 7-7 seven, seven or taking the 2-2, two, two, but I think I have to take the 7-7 seven, seven here. Cause... Pretty desperate to get this uh, face it in. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think it, this is what I've decided on. Um, we get to follow up with a creature, which is nice too. Um, we could even actually collect with this guy because Colossus can only dash. Well, you could dash onto where the Manta currently is, and then we can't answer it, and you can mobility trick to my face. Uh... God, it's such a tricky, <laughs> tricky turns. Yeah, yeah, it's delicate. I really am desperate for the collections, I think. I've got f I mean, five costs coming if up. If you got the ball, though, you're fine. Um, like you're fine if you yeah, I'm just concerned with Colossus dash onto where the 2 2 is, and then I can't put. Well, hopefully I can body block that. Um, I guess it's likely I can body block it, but then I'm still risking, like, mobility trick um, into my face. I guess, uh, yeah, your only line there would be to collect with the 2-2 two, two, plus one Colossus. Um, and this is a point in the game where we uh, ideally should be card counting and then just assuming that he has every possible card left in the list. So things like Double Wind Soldier, those are two cards we can count on. Um, I can't remember how many Soul Drains have been used, there might be one left. Uh, there's... I think demon number three. Yeah. Um, and then one of those is Colossus. Uh, so there's at least three cards accounted for, and maybe there's a soul drain. Okay. Takes the face. So it. taking the face it here. Um. Allows me to set up for the double wind soldier, right? Gives you a, a five drop though. Like you get a draw for a five drop now this way. Because uh, you can collect. Yeah. Um. What do you mean by double wind soldier? That's just. Oh, because then you got the demon to finish. Okay, fair enough. Um. We do take the draw here. Uh, I probably don't want to play this if I can help it. Okay, this is this is great. I'd rather play this than this. Um, so we can do this. A really important, I step on the sideways lands so that we play around the Colossus, right? Um, and yeah, so I top decked a Beastmaster, but uh, Beastmaster at this point in the game is absolutely awful. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Not where you want to be. So now I gotta decide where to put this. He can go up to five with a flash wind. Um, right, so this this spot's absolutely fine. I was thinking about Soul Drain plus Colossus, ah. but that doesn't really make a difference, yeah. Yeah, that was really good for you. Um. So I guess there was some merit to blocking collection, but I haven't seen a single stalker. Maybe you're only uh, running two. You, you just saw two, and I'm only running two. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, sorry. Jeez. Um. I got one voice of truth left, which actually would be good. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. I think, yeah, I think this is it. I have the mobility, but... Um, what about, like, fatigue? Do you win the fatigue game? I mean, I'm only two cards up on you, right? Aren't you just double landing at some point? 
I mean, I can double land here, because I don't want to draw anymore, and I can actually just play the card that I want to play, I guess. But, I don't know. I mean, it's uh, still up in the air. I, I, I guess I could be playing Ron Fatigue here. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Uh, but, yeah, we're just going to double land since I get to play my cards. Uh, I guess we have the luxury to just collect. He's played triple training. I, I did play triple training. Yeah. Ooh, what are my aggro creatures to put up here, though? Probably Beastmaster. <laughs> We had two Beastmasters left, one Voice of Truth, oh, and one Tyrion Golem, okay. Tyrion Golem can go face, I guess. Right, I forget, this guy's pinging you in the face. I actually maybe shouldn't have given you the trade, I'm not sure. You did get a uh, triple movement here, yeah. Oh. Wait, triple movement doesn't... Uh... Okay, yeah, that gets you into face. Yeah, yeah, it does get me into face range. Huh. I guess, yeah, I think I was supposed to keep my taunt there. That was stupid moving it. It didn't accomplish anything. And one mistake might just cost me the entire game. Uh, moving that taunt. Uh, super <laughs> awkward. Well, Fnatic should have been uh, left set, I think, by the way. Mm. Probably not gonna matter, though. Actually, it's gonna matter, yeah. Ha! <laughs> Ah, uh, what an insane game! It is. It really is. Um, jeez. I so I don't think I can win anymore if I don't apply pressure. You need to hit face here. Yeah, yeah. I am taking fatigue damage, so I absolutely have to build this agro forest. Unfortunately. That's a stalker, though. You're fine, I think. No, I'm out of stalkers. Oh, so it is only two, yeah. Uh, okay, so I know what my next top decks are. We got two Beastmasters and one Voice of Truth. So I can play to those. Um, but pretty much I'm just looking to... Stand on face, play around. He just played... Uh, triple Mobility, right? Was that one, yeah, two, three? Yeah. yeah. So uh, there still might be some to play around, but well, you you should know my hand by now, except for my like one card maybe. Uh, you got the double wind soldier. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just double wind soldier. Uh, one colossus. So there's only one mystery card. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, regardless, I gotta play around uh, Colossus in the future. Uh, which is pretty easy. I, I think I would have played Colossus earlier if I had a chance. Hmm. Uh, we'll just step back. Pass. Okay, um... So 
uh, third Outland Ranger? I can't remember. Yeah, I have another one. Uh, I don't think the math works, though. I think if it's Outland Ranger, I don't... I don't think you have it. Because, I mean, I just need to keep my taunt alive. Um, yeah, can, yeah, I'm never getting through. Like, if you can um, threaten the taunt on the right side, maybe, but... Um, you would have had to have five this turn. I think it did matter. You had the <laughs> the fanatic on the other side, right? Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, if you had the extra so collections that, there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Like, the Colossus threatens... Uh, I don't know if you win, though. Like, the Colossus dashes, and then what I counterplay with is... I, I, I don't have Colossus in hand. My cards are Smile, Double oh. Wind Soldier, and Ranger. Oh, it's Smile. Wait, what did Collecting do for you, then? I'm potentially trading into the Grove Guardian. So that way I can get a Wind Soldier to face, which is all I'm worried about. I just need one Wind Soldier to hit face. Ah, uh, true. Yeah, fair point. Right, if you collected, you would have been on... What? Plus... One plus two, sorry. Um, six, you get to play four with the uh, Outland Ranger. Oh no, you got the campfire in hand already. <laughs> yeah, I guess then you would have been able to hit face once this very turn. Right? It's essentially, I have to do two things, right? I have to somehow manage your Colossus for. Um, yeah, sorry, your Golem for. A few turns, and then I have to hit phase for three, so that you can die to second fatigue instance. Mm. Yeah, this isn't it. <laughs> Mm. And I don't even get like. Oh, I think I still survive. Don't even survive. get the now. Yeah, it's really rough. awkward. But I think I still survive. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I think you win here. Yeah. Well, I mean, like even if you had that one play, because I only if you deal three damage, right? You deal four with the campfire. I think I could have played better. Um, mm. My my Outland Ranger should have been aggressive. My my Fnatic as well should have been in an aggressive position. TM just that. Um, yeah. Mm. Wow, <laughs> good game. <laughs> yeah. That was very close. Wait, Smile damages you? Oh, you drew. It drew, it wasn't smile, no. There's uh, no fly left. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, 